Mr. Reyes. Yes. Dr. Roberto Trevino runs a pioneering program to help curb obesity and type 2 diabetes in children. He's not a pediatrician. In fact, all of his own patients are adults. But years ago, as an intensive care physician, Trevino had a revelation that turned him into an anti-diabetes crusader for kids. Most of my patients, 70% of my patients have diabetes and 80% of the causes for dialysis is diabetes. So I said, let me go down the stream. Maybe if I can catch the disease, you know, before the complication, I can stop the complication. In most cases, type 2 diabetes results from obesity, and the long-term complications can be life-threatening. According to Trevino's research, one-third of low-income San Antonio kids are obese. An alarming 7% of 8 to 10-year-olds already have type 2 diabetes which used to be a disease of middle age, rarely seen in kids. Trevino predicts these children will have their first open-heart surgeries when they're 25 and be on dialysis by the time they're 35. Hoping to change that outcome, in 1991, Trevino opened the Social and Health Research Center in one of San Antonio's poorest neighborhoods. Next, he began the Bienestar School Program. Back then, he was hoping to show that he could reduce obesity and lower blood sugar in kids, not with pills, but with changes in their lifestyle. The Bienestar Coordinated School Health Program is a diabetes op and obesity prevention program aimed at children from kindergarten through eighth grade. It consists of a parent component, consists of a health class, physical education, food service, and a after-school component. And the reason is because these five areas are the five environments or social systems that have a lot of influence on children's health behaviors. Trevino's ideas have yielded dramatic results. He's lowered blood sugars in Bienestar children by 32 percent and sustained those numbers for three years, proving that promoting a healthy lifestyle can have a significant effect on a child's blood sugar and his or her future. Because of his success, Trevino received a federal grant to run the nation's largest study on preventing diabetes and obesity in elementary school students. Still, Trevino feels compelled to work a 14-hour day, starting at one of his five bustling clinics, then working with Bienestar kids, and often staying up late at night writing. When I would go into these schools and children would come up to us and look at us and say, you know, look, doctor, with an apple on their hand, or look, doctor, I have new tennis shoes and I can run faster. Man, I mean, I would turn back in and, and, and go back to these state agencies to, you know, continue battling to, to get, you know, these children's better health care. 